Hold on. I turned it down. I turned it down. I turned it down. Can you guys hear me? Okay. What I was saying, what I was saying is my hair is very frizzy because it's very humid. Um, so ignore that. But I have a really funny story time. I, guys, I have a really funny story time. You're gonna laugh. No, you, no, guys, you're gonna laugh. No, 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 you're gonna laugh, guys. You're gonna, you're gonna, you guys, do you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna go, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna leave the stream. And you're gonna be like, wow, Amy, you are so funny. Um, you're really funny. And that is really funny. What happened? So. Let me quickly explain what happened to me after MCC. Are we ready for the story time? Are we ready for the story? People, okay, someone in chat said, why don't I believe you? I was in A&E for five fucking hours last night. If you think that I did that for the bit, you severely overestimate me. I had the worst night. The Insta followers are the ones that know, okay? If you were, if you were, if you were the Insta followers are the ones that know, okay? All right, so let me explain, all right? Let me get to the story time, so, all right. So, everybody, get some hums in chat. Get some hums in chat. So, as you guys know, yesterday was MCC, you know? I had a pretty solid MCC. Got my highest placement ever, which is pretty cool. If you get, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I was on top of the world. You know, I was leaving, I ended MCC like, oh my god, I'm the coolest person in the world. Nothing can get me down from this. Then I got debuffed by life, apparently. Apparently life was like, no, 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 no more good times for you, Amy. You need humbling. And I was like, why, life? You kind of throwing everything at me these this th the last few weeks. I had a breakdown. My dog died. And then I fucking... Ha okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. So, basically, right? This is what happened. This is what happens, all right? This is what happened. So, um, I was... I was having a great time, okay? So, I ended stream... And, you know, I did my usual thing when I end stream, when I get, you know, get changed in my comfies, you know, into my comfies, and turn off all my PC and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I got... I have the genius idea. I have the genius idea where I'm like, let's play some Mario. Because I'm Amy and I love Mario. And there we have a game called Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, okay? It's not the winter edition, it's just the normal edition, okay? 
It's just the normal edition, all right? And so I basically, I basically did the silly thing, which suggested that idea. And so we began playing. Everything was going well. Everything was going right. We were competitive, you know, me, Ran and Gux, we were like all against each other. It was going fine. I was doing pretty well, you know, at the running, you know, the running, you gotta like, you gotta like, you gotta like do this with the things and you gotta just sprint. I was, I'm solid at that. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good, right? Then, then I just realized my playlist is on shuffle mode. It needs to not do that. Give me a minute. Do not be on shuffle mode. Do not do that. Moving on. Okay, so, carrying on. Then, we got to a new game. Well, not a new game. We got to the game, which is called the Hammer Throw. This is where it all got, went wrong. Okay. If you don't know what the Hammer Throw game is, you've got to hold the Wii Remote and you've got to spin it as fast as you can. Like, you've got to go like this as fast as you can, right? And then release the remote, and then it throws, right? It's like the, it's like the, the ball, right? Now, I mistakenly did not realize my surroundings. And there was a glass, okay? There was a glass on my table. right just a normal mason jar glass all right just it's a chill little glass all right so my ass is fucking hurling this goddamn ball as fast as i can because i am competitive and i'm losing at this point so i'm going for it and then i just slam my hand fully against this glass okay uh like just It wasn't as swollen. It was just a little bit, okay? A little, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit swollen, okay? Like a tiny bit. And not as much, even. However, I then realized, okay, I'm probably gonna have to actually. We were, I'll go get changed, right? I'll go get changed. I'll take my, I'll take my sickness tablet. Um, and if it's still swollen by that time, then we will go to hospital. It was two in the morning at this point, by the way. My finger still didn't hurt. I couldn't fart. It didn't hurt, right? But I also couldn't feel my finger. That was the problem. Because I couldn't feel my finger, but it wasn't hurting at all. Like I, 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 I could, I could touch it, 
there was just zero feeling. And I was like, oh fuck. And I couldn't move it like as much as I should be able to. Like I could do this like that really slowly, but I could not push it any further, you know? So I was like, oh, this is, this is really funny. This is really funny. This is a bit funny in my opinion, okay? Um, so then I'm like, fuck, I am actually gonna have to go to hospital. Now, if you are British, if you're British, I want you guys to put a one in chat. And I just wanna see who's British in the chat. Just some ones? Okay, okay. Now, out of all the Brits here, who has ever been to a British A&E? Because I was already dreading going to the A&E. Because if you guys don't know about like, the UK, I don't know how it is in America or any other places in the world, but in the UK, we have the NHS, which is free healthcare, right? However, the waiting times are extortionate when you go in. It's very slow. Because usually, you know, the NHS is very underfunded. Um, so it doesn't have a lot of, you know, a lot of people there working. Uh, there was only one, there was only one doctor working, right? It was a Saturday night. It was two in the morning. There was no AC. It was boiling. Nothing, right? But we'll get, to, we'll get, we'll get more to that point in a minute. All right, we'll get, we'll get back to that point in a minute, right? So we leave, like my, we leave my house and me, Gucky and Ran are ordering an Uber. And we're all just like, I'm just kind of sit standing there and I'm like, this is not happening. I ca like, I can't believe this is something that is genuinely happening to me. Are you telling me that I've just may have broken my finger from playing fucking Mario and Sonic at the Olympic games? You know what I mean? It is pitch black. So we get into this car, we take the ride to a and a and is the ER, yeah. We go to a and I I I go in. And the, uh, we go to the receptionist, right? And the receptionist is like, hello, like, you know, what's happening? And I just look down at my finger and I physically can't think of a lie. Like I can't think of a lie in that second. So I just tell them, I'm like, I was playing, I was playing a Wii game and I banged my finger. And the receptionist laughed. She was like, oh no. And I was like, yeah, it's been a rough night. And so she gets all my details, you know, as you do. And she's like, okay, uh, take a seat over there. We'll call you when needed, right? We go to sit down. Uh, and like, it's like me, Gucky, and then Ran, like opposite me. And we just pull out our phones and we just start playing Crazy A. If you guys know the Apple game, we just start playing that, right, for a minute. Cause we're like, it is a Saturday night in A&E we are going to be here for a long fucking time. Okay, so we just start playing games um, and we're having a good time, we're having a fine time. Um, then, I need to reiterate, A&E on a Saturday night is my genuine hellscape because if you don't know, a lot of the time drunk men will be pulled into the A&E with police officers for starting fights. to get seen very drunk men with many police officers now i want you to imagine fucking me like like me st sitting there with my fucking finger going blue ran and gucky then surrounded by a bunch of drunk men at three in the morning in an a and e so why not women have sexism? There wasn't any drunk women. What? Why would I lie in the story? What? It was just drunk men. <laughs> it's because all of these drunk men were starting fights with people and the police officers were bringing them to the A&E to get checked out to then get taken to fucking police after to go get into custody, right? Um, so... We're sitting there and we're like, oh my fucking god, right? We're like, oh fucking god. Um, so we're like, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Nightmare. Nightmare. I don't like... Okay, one thing about me. I 
One of my one of my biggest pet peeves, I don't know if anyone in chat is gonna agree with me here. I despise being around drunk men. It's just a deep-rooted thing. Can't do it. So I was already having a terrible time, right? I was like, my finger is turning blue. I may as well audition for the new Papa Smooth if they ever do a live action, because my ass will get the role. While I've got fucking Johnny and 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 John, dumb and dumber, drunk as hell behind me. All right. Having a terrible time. All right. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> um, and I'm just looking at my finger. And the worst thing, also, not the worst thing, but another thing in this part, in this part, is the fact that me, obviously, because we left our house just so quickly to go to the AR. Me and Gucky, we only had 10% on both of our phones. Because we were planning on going to bed after we finished that exact game. Then this fucking happened. So we didn't have charge. Luckily, Gucky never leaves the house without a charger. So Gucky charged their phone first, and then I charged mine after, right? We got like 30-40%, right? Now, we are at about 4am at this point, okay? We're at 4am at this point. I sent Ran home because what was really funny, right? I'm going to explain. Okay, so basically, right? Ran, Ran was dead set on like staying until I got seen. And I was like, Ran, I cannot tell, I cannot reiterate. You are going to be here for so long and it is going to be fine. All right, it's going to be fine. Because basically Ran, Ran was worried. Okay, so Ran, Ran the reason Ran didn't want to leave is because we were surrounded by so many drunk men. Like, Ran was kind of like, I don't want to leave you guys here. Stop with your oars. But Ran is such a good friend. I'm, I'm, all me, bitches. All me. Stop, all me. I'm the broken fucking finger. Shut up. You're so annoying. Aww. 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 So nice that your friend didn't want you to get murdered. Shut up. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, moving on. I'm not, no, I'm not jealous. It's just that, it's just, guys, come on. Like, be, don't be annoying. Like, anyway, can I, let me, let me carry on the story. Okay, so. Um, so Ran was like, I don't want to leave you here, like, because obviously, you know, there was a lot of drunk men, right? But I was, I, I explained, I was like, hey, we're literally in a hospital. We're literally in a hospital. Um, if anything were to happen, there is literally three, four policemen. And if I get punched in the face, there, I'm in a hospital. I'll get seen quicker. I'll get seen quicker. You know what? I get punched in the face. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should start a fight. All right, and then I'll get seen really quick. All right, um, it's worth it for the bit. So, so Ran, so Ran gets back. Uh, Ran goes home, uh, and then it's me and Gucky. Right, me and Gucky. Now, this is where it gets interesting. And by interesting, I mean far worse. So. I, about like 20 minutes now after Ran had left, a new guy came into the A&E. And I just wanna, I'm just gonna, okay, I'm just gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna reenact. I'm gonna reenact what this guy did. So, he walks in, he's drunk, and he's got three policemen with him, right? Who are, are paramedics trying to calm him down. He goes straight for the receptionist, who is a lovely woman, by the way. Lovely woman. And just starts screaming at her. Just fully just starts screaming at her. Right? So me and Gucky are like, oh, fuck's sake, here we fucking go, right? Because, you know, you guys already know that, you know, like, workers, especially in, like, the NHS and hospitals, they get treated fucking awfully by people who are entitled to be like, I deserve to get seen now. But like I said, the wait was a long time, but there was other people that needed to be seen before me, so I wasn't that mad. But this guy walks in, starts screaming at the receptionist. The receptionist is quite, sh like, is kind of just looking, and these paramedics and these police, doing a great job, by the way. They're, ve they're very doing a great job, and they're, like, calm, like, being like, hey, man, let's, 
let's let's not do that don't do that and they're telling him off right but in like a in a way so that it registers in a way so he's like they're doing it because he's drunk he's absolutely fucked right this goes on for about an hour and it didn't even fucking stop there because after the hour after the hour he started pacing around the entire like receptionist area and just like speaking out loud about everything and the one quote that still makes me go oh my is then he started being like and yeah fuck the labor government and i was like oh f oh jesus christ oh fucking christ oh my god oh no Listen, if I had a single rainbow pin on me, I probably would have been called a name, okay? If you don't if you don't know what that means, being like, fuck the Labour government, it basically means he's a Tory, he's a conservative, all right? It's similar to Republican. All right? Um, so I'm just sitting there and I'm like, man, I did Pride MCC like six hours ago. I need to leave this place, all right? At this point, I am like, I'm just ready to leave. I hate everything that's gone. We don't have AirPods because we left the house so quickly. So I don't have anything to, 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 to close my ears. I'm very overstimulated, all right? I'm very overstimulated. And I'm just like losing my head at this point, all right? And I'm like, fuck. Then it gets to 5 a.m. Still nothing. I've still not been seen. My finger is still getting more blue. If you guys saw me on like Twitter and Tumblr, I was having a very fun time. I was having a great time typing with one fucking hand. You just, I was typing like this, you ready? Like a fucking wine mum, all right? So then I carry on. I carry on just like, you know, doing my thing. Fucking being annoying as shite. Um, and then it gets to 6 a.m. But it gets to like 10, it's like 10 to 6. And I get called. Finally. Okay. But they call me in and they're like, hello, what happened? And the guy... The guy was so lovely, by the way. It gets to 6 a.m. Woo! Literally, night night shift has ended. Anyway, so I get to the guy, and the guy's very lovely. The guy is very lovely, okay? He's like, what happened? And I was like, I banged my finger getting way too into Wii games. And he laughs, and he, he, he finds it very funny. He's like, that is actually really funny. And I'm like, I know. I'm so sorry. Uh, and he doesn't really know what's wrong with it. Because at this point, we're like, okay, I don't think it's badly broken or anything. But we all, obviously, we the, the we did still need to do the x-ray. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. At this point, I could start feeling something. And I could feel it in the tip. Or I could feel just, just feeling here. But anything in the middle, if I touched it, it felt like it was burning. Like a burning sensation. Which was really fucking weird, right? So, they send us to a different area. Um, with the, given the x-ray sheet. And this is great, because now... Do you guys know, right? I, I've been in hospitals a lot growing up and like like just visiting hospitals, right? There is something so different about cups of tea in a hospital. They have those little machines, right? Where you can get like cups of teas. So I was like, I really want just a cup of tea. It is six in the morning. I am, I've been here for so long. I'm just gonna get a cup of tea, right? So me and Gucky, we shared a cup of tea. Um, I bought a cup of tea. It was only a pound. So I was like, why? Let's go. So we had a cup of tea. This woke me and Gucky up, because at this point, we were like, I was so out of it, and I was like, I'm not even tired at this point, I just want to leave. Like, and we were, I was getting so close to just getting up and leaving, right? I was so gone. Um, but we didn't, we prevailed. So then we walked all the way, and then, then the x-ray person was like, Amy, and I was like, me? Please see me. Um, so then they take us, they take me to go get the thing, and they kind of do all the little things, and they do the little x-ray, go beep, 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 beep. And Gucky had to, like, stand behind the weird glass thing, right? Which is fine. And they're like, okay, go back to the, the first waiting room. And it will be fine. And I'm like, please, no. Don't make me go back there. I had to go back there anyway. Um, so I had to go back to the first waiting room, right? <sighs> then, within, like, 20 minutes, they come back. And they let me know. Ready? It's not broken. Yippee! What it is, though, it is badly sprained. 
basically they can see where it happened and apparently if i had hit it like a little bit it's torn yeah if i had hit it a little bit harder i would have broken it right and also because and also apparently i was very lucky because if i carried on moving it like from it happening to when i got seen it probably would have gotten a lot worse right it would have gotten a lot worse i thought it was broken by the way no, no no i didn't think it was broken no it's not clickbait it's injured the title is injured wait oh no it's sorry it broke sorry i thought it was injured i meant to say injured but anyway it broke it technically anyway so basically right basically right it's it's what i have to do for, for the next few days is i've got to keep it in a fucking like thing like this and i can't overuse it i can't overuse it because if i do uh it could end up breaking so i'm just gonna be really annoying and be stupid i've got brittle bones basically i decorate the wrap why not but basically my wrist started hurting because i had to keep my hand like this and when i'm sleeping i've gotta keep my hand like this so my wrist is hurting now dude also, I'm so glad this is after MCC, man. I'm so glad. I would not have done Ace Race like that. I would not have done Ace Race like that. But then we were like, okay, well, we're done. Hold on. And you know what? You know what me and Gucky did? You know what me and Gucky did after that almost four and a half hour wait? We walked all the way home. It was an hour walk. Listen, it was 6.30. We had no sleep. But Ubers are expensive. It was a Saturday night. It was at 6 in the morning on a, on a Sunday. On a Saturday night, like Sunday morning. No shot. And also, I love a good walk. I love a good walk. We got our steps in. We got our good steps in bicycle motherfucker how do you think i would have been able to bike someone actually just said bicycle did you listen to the fucking story um someone also also i forgot there was there was an actual valid reason i couldn't get on a bus or a car guys i didn't have my sickness tablets you guys know i get really severe motion sick I didn't have any tablets on me and I was like after the fucking agony I've just gone through over the last four and a half hours I am not also getting sick no way just get me home right so we just started walking home um and basically we we walked home but we ended up going past a little cafe that me and Gucky usually go to and like it was like just as we were walking past it it opened so we just got breakfast at like seven in the morning uh we got some i got some egg on toast and uh gucky had a little sandwich i had a little coffee um so we had food in us a nice little walk and then we walked home and then my mum woke up that was funny that was quite funny i will be honest um and that was today and then me and gucky slept for like two hours and then i'm now i'm here yippee but yeah i'm just gonna not sprain it uh, I've got to not, like, be stressed. I've got, I've, no, I've got... Okay, I've got to not stress it. I've got to not stress it, apparently. So I'm not going to... Wait. No, I'm not going to. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I also went out today. I went out today. I've been, I've been having a crazy day. It has... Okay, I will say this now. I don't know if anyone else has done this to their finger before. Now it is starting to hurt, but not hurt... It's the problem is is now it's like throbbing. Like it's like it's got its own heartbeat, but no other finger does, but this one does. Like it has its own throb. Like its own heartbeat. Yeah, the throbbing is the worst. It's aching, yeah. That's what I have at the moment. It's fucking awful. It's like it's it's not fun. But it's still my finger is still blue, by the way, and it's still swollen. So that's why I gotta just keep it here so that I can try and go down and put pressure on it. But yeah! That was the story time. What a good day. It was so funny. So I rung my mom when I got back in because my mom had just woken up. And she was like, what the, what the fuck happened? 
So she rung me and I like I I was and my gran was there too. And like they were just laughing at me because I was explaining this entire story. Yeah. Also, why were you motherfuckers making pride flags out of my broken fucking hand pictures? What was that about, you freaks? There is something severely wrong with you. So much. Are there ads right now? Hold on, I'll wait for the ads to stop. Wait for the ads to stop. If you guys don't know what I'm referencing, go on to... Okay, you know what? I will show you. You guys want to see? Get a yes in the chat if you guys want to see. Get a yes in the chat if you guys want to see. Hold on. I'm doing this so slowly, man. Bro. Bro. Hold on. I'm doing, I have to do this one-handed, man. You ready for this? What is this? Non-binary flag color picked from Amesy TV's broken finger. Like, are you joking? You freaks. There is something wrong with all of you, and I wish you get the help you need. All right? I hope you get the help you need, because you're all freaks. Uh, you're all losers. <laughs> Ugh. You know what? The next time I injure myself, I hope one of you guys make an edit of it and do that again, because it's quite funny, actually. Um, but I'm trying to think of uh, any other story. Any other thing. But yeah, it was, it was like, it was fucking boiling. It was so hot in this A&E. Um, like, because they had no, th there was no, there was no aircon or anything like that. So we were all just like, we were just melting. Um, but yeah, what a day. Did you guys enjoy the story time? We're gonna play. Oh yeah, I didn't even won. I didn't even win Mario, by the way. You may be wondering, Amy, was it worth it? Did you win the game? No, fucking randed. It was not worth it. I spent four and a half hours in A&E to not even win. I'm still mad. Okay. Anyway. 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 All right. Chatters. Are you guys excited for some FNAF 6, motherfuckers? Are we excited, dude? I'm so fucking pumped. I'm so pumped, dude. Okay. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm a FNAF streamer at the moment. Um, I'm gonna be playing FNAF for the next, like, two months straight. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really enjoy FNAF. Um, and today, we're gonna be trying to beat it. Like, okay, I'm gonna be quite slow today because of this motherfucker. But I'm gonna try my best anyway. Um, if you guys don't know anything about FNAF 6, we played it for an hour and a half the other day, but we are nowhere near to completing it because I don't really know what's going on. Um, but it's gonna be fun. And I hope you're all gonna be excited, okay? If you guys wanna, wait, hold on, I'll pose. If you guys wanna tweet out the stream for me and let people know that we are, we, we're, we're gonna play, please do. FNAF 6, I don't know the lore of FNAF 6, no. I, guys, I don't know anything about FNAF 6. Uh, ready, pizzeria simulator. All right, Make, making pizzeria simulator. But there is no, no pizza. FNAF 6. Boop. All right, we ready? Shadows, are we ready? Wait, I actually want to go through the subs real quick. And the follows, okay? Thank you, Luda, for the gift of sub. Thank you, Nam, for the follow. Thank you, Miss Cammy, for the follow. Thank you, Miss Fire Manga, for the follow. Thank you, Miss Cat, for the follow. Thank you, Weed, for the follow. Uh, Iron, for the sub. We got Karen, for the follow. We got um, Lena, with the six view rate. Thank you so much. We got Missy, with the follow. We got M, with the follow. We got Anthony, with the follow. Lee, with the follow. Gino, with the follow. We got Brooke, with the follow. John, with the follow. Jack, with the follow. Monica, with the follow. Chili, with the follow. Ralph, with the follow. Mal, with the follow. Adam, with the follow. Riley, with the follow. Hannah, with the follow. Trevor, with the follow. Ivy, with the follow. Kira, with the follow. Evie, with the follow. Lisa, Prisma, Roscoe, Jess. Uh, Kitsu, we got Matt, we got Toby, we got Love, we got Ed, we got Elisa, we got Nazuko, we got Smiley, we got Milam, uh, we got Friend, we got Majestic, we got Walter, we got Clara, we got Gala. Thank you! I appreciate it! I appreciate it! Alright. For nav time! Let's go! Yeah, we're playing Security Breach next. Wow! Wow! Wait for it to load. There we go. Okay, this is what we got up to. Let me put my headphone in, though. Uh, boop boop. Alright. I actually need to turn off the music. Please don't stop the music. There we go, baby. Wait. Whoop. 
All right. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. That's me, by the way. We're doing we're doing help wanted as well at a time. I don't know when, but we are doing it. Okay. So we have so much money now, but what should we buy? Chaz, I'm gonna let you decide what we buy. I don't really know what to buy. We could get a stage. Save for upgrades, you think? I don't know if I should get more games. Wait, can we get a big ball pit? Why do you want a big ball pit, you freaks? You're all freaks, I'm so serious. Look at this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of getting this. I'm thinking. Or do we not need that now? Because we have this one. I'm an idiot. No, we don't need that. Stop it! Am I actually going to save it for the ball pit? Wait, why is my Wi-Fi going? No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, dude. One sec. Bro, what? Give me a second, Shadows. Give me a second. 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 Hold on, Shadows. Shadows, please. Shadows, please. Just calm, man. Calm. Shadows. Shadows? Just give me a second. Are we back? Okay. Cha ah, fuck, dude. Please. Okay, wait, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Dude, why is it doing this? It shouldn't be doing this, man. It shouldn't be doing this, dude. It's going in and out. Guys, just give it five minutes, please, dude. We're not back, Chatters. We're not back. We're not back. We're not back. Please, man. Bro, it's just a FNAF game. Why is my Wi-Fi so insane? No, Gucky isn't fixing it, Chatters. Gucky is not fixing it. It's not working, Chatters. Please, dude. This doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't be doing this. It it should it just shouldn't. Bro. It's not back, Shadows. Like I'm watching the fucking bit right. Please. Just be chill, please, chat, please. Just be chill for a minute. I'm restarting, I'm restarting. Hold 